Welcome to Know Your Doosan. Welcome to Know Your Doosan. I'm Mark Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a part handoff on your twin spindle leg. This topic came as a suggestion from one of our customers on social media, and it's a great one. If you have run a lathe for any time at all, you know it can be a little intimidating and nerve wracking when you get two spindles close together to do work or to hand off a part. So hopefully, after our video today, you will have more confidence and better understanding of what you need to have set up and programmed to make a smooth and easy transfer. Today, we're using a Puma 2600 SY2. This machine has a main spindle and a sub spindle, which we will use to demonstrate our part handoff. As you can see, we've already done all of our machining on the main spindle, and we are ready to transfer this part to the sub spindle and finish turning there. So right off the bat, the biggest piece of information we need to obtain is where will the sub spindle pick off the part from the main spindle. We also need to write our program so that the machine can synchronize the spindles to each other. Open up the jaws on the sub spindle and bring the sub spindle up to a point that it can clamp onto our part. Then our main spindle chuck will open up, releasing our part to the sub spindle. Finally, our sub spindle will retract and we can finish machining on the back side of our part. So let's start with that pickoff position. Like I said, it's the main piece of unknown information, so let's get that figured out. First, let's go ahead and open up the chuck jaws on the sub spindle. I am going to put the machine in hand wheel mode by pressing the hand wheel hard key. Next, I'm going to put the machine in B axis mode and hand wheel my sub spindle up to my part. Let me stop here and quickly point out the importance of getting the jaws to cover as much of the diameter of the part as possible for rigidity and future machining. As you can see, my B location is negative 2.97. I am going to note that and use it shortly in my program. That's really the main piece of information that we need to know at this point. The programming is the next and biggest key to a good clean part transfer and I'm going to break down each critical G and M code to walk you through it. So in a typical scenario, you would have all of your machining programmed for the main spindle above this portion of your program. But to keep things simple and easy, I've made a singular program to show you just how to complete the transfer. Let's go through this line by line. I added an N09 to my program and made a note that this was the point in my program for the part transfer. This makes it easy to jump to instead of having to search line by line or page by page. G54 is to use our part work offset position. M110 is our interference check turn off. Normally the machine would error out due to interference zones being met, but this will turn those off. M131 is our right chuck interlock bypass. We have to turn this on so the chuck can be used, even if it's in the open position. Normally, machine movement would not happen if the chuck jaws were open. M169 causes our right chuck to unclamp. G0, G54, B.5 gives us a rapid move in reference to G54 to bring the B axis up to within half an inch of our part in the main spindle. On the next line, G97 is constant spindle speed, the M213 is spindle forward sync command, S is our spindle speed of 500, and P11 designates our main spindle as the lead spindle. Our sub spindle will orient and sync to the main spindle. M86 is our lower axis torque skip function. This is so the B axis can be moved forward with a feed move and the torque limits on the axis are ignored. For this next line, this is our feed move in inches per minute to move the B axis into our predetermined position that we found earlier in the video. If you remember, that B position was B negative 2.97, and this is where we need to use that to maximize our hold on the part. M87 is next. We simply turn off the torque skip function so the machine goes back to its normal operating setting. M168 
tells the right chuck to clamp onto our part. M31 turns on our left chuck interlock bypass so that we can operate the machine even though the signal will show that our chuck is unclamped. M69, this is our left chuck unclamp command that is going to release our part from the main spindle and hand it over to the right spindle. This next line is our feed move at 100 inches per minute to retract the B axis to a position of B 2.0. M68 simply clamps the left chuck back so we can move the machine in a normal state. This next line causes the spindle synchronization to stop. Remember how we designated P11 as our main spindle in control? We turn it off the same way we turned it on. The next three lines of code return each axis to its reference position. At this point in the program, we have handed off our part from the main spindle to the subspindle, and we're ready to complete our machining process. As you can see, once you understand the codes that are needed for a clean and easy handoff, the only real unknown is the pickoff position of our B axis, and I've shown you how to obtain that information. You now have all of the information and data that you need to successfully hand off your part from the main spindle to the sub spindle. Thank you so much for watching. If you have a suggestion like the viewer did for this video, leave it in the comments below and keep machining with Doosan.